Today we have the benefit of some great chemicals to help keep our automobiles running properly and performing smoothly, but there could be some confusion as to exactly what chemicals we would use for each different type of a project. So let's take a look at what we have here one by one, starting with a white lithium grease. This is a great grease for things like exterior hinges, uh, door hinges, hood hinges, things like that. And the key here is this product leaves a thick, dense lubricant on the surface, and it'll stay there through all types of weather conditions. And we also have the same type of a lithium lubricant in a tube for those who want to put it on in smaller areas and in specific places. Now this product is also a lubricating oil, but it leaves a wet film on the surface, so it's great for reducing friction on, on metal to metal moving parts. And so again, it's a good exterior product and it's used for door hinges and hood hinges and things like that. But this product leaves a dry film. It's not oily or sticky and this is going to be great for locks and toolbox drawers and interior hinges and things like that that you don't want an oily mess on the surface. Chain lube is great for bicycle chains, motorcycle chains, garage door chains, anytime you want to keep a chain moving freely and also free of rust and corrosion. This is a penetrant, PB Blaster. It's probably one of the most widely used penetrants because it works so good at cutting through corrosion and rust and great for all around automotive maintenance. WD-40 has been around a long time. People use this as a penetrant too but it's probably better served as a cleaner and a waterproofer. It's great for folding knives, cleaning tools, and wonderful for starting flooded small engines like lawnmowers and chainsaws. This is anti-seize, and this is a chemical that we put on the threads of spark plugs and oxygen sensors too to keep the part from sticking into the engine or the exhaust manifold so that the next time it needs to be replaced, it can be easily removed. And here are the popular chassis and wheel bearing greases. In a tub like this, the product can be easily removed and packed into a wheel bearing either by hand or with some sort of an applicator. When it's in the tube, we can also use it for wheel bearings, but now we can also put it into an applicator so it can be put into ball joints and grease fittings and things like that. The main difference between this product and this product is these are synthetic, and that means that they're going to be more of a silicone base and they have the same application as the earlier product, but these are more useful in wet environments and agricultural environments because they're not only waterproof, but they're also fertilizer and chemical proof.